Alrighty, here we go. Hey there, everybody. It's a nasty one here again, and welcome back to the next episode of the Platypie franchise rebuild here in Super Mega Baseball 4, year number one. Last episode, we got through the first uh, quarter of the season with uh, game number eight, where we fell behind early against the Buzzards as they roughed up starter Rufus Sumar early on. But then in the later innings, uh, the bullpen came alive. Shirley in the air and... Remington Sharp only gave up one combined earned run between the both of them as we managed to rally back big to win 7-5, to five, giving Indier her first career victory and pulling off one of a come-from-behind victory, which I don't think anybody expected, really. <laughs> With that win, we moved back uh, to, what is our record now, 6-2 and two now on the season, and we also made our first roster move at the end of last episode as our hand was kind of forced by the poor play of first baseman Scooter Sandberg. He has been replaced on the roster by rookie first baseman 24-year-old Pete Physique, who, if you guys are familiar with the Sawtooth series, he was a big factor in the first four years of that series. So um, I was trying to get different players on the roster to develop them, but... With how bad Sandbrook was playing, we needed a starting first baseman now, so we kind of forced our hand into that movement. So we paid a million dollars, and now Physique is on the roster. He is stimulated, he's a good power hitter, he's a good fielder, uh, he doesn't have trouble driving in runs. So that's the big takeaway from this. And here's the matchup we have for today's game. It's our first matchup against the Crocodons here in the series. We come in at 6-2. and two. AVA is going to be on the mound. Our ace, left-hander, 2-0 and oh with a 1-1-7 ERA and a 104 whip. On the mound for the Crocodons is their ace, Javita Pulo, 0-1 oh with a 7-36 ERA and a 164 whip. And they are coming in at 1-7. and seven. Line up leading off at second base is Kitty Kaufman, locked in, batting second, right fielder Muffin Studwick, batting third, center fielder Mo Willie Bacon, batting fourth, locked in at third base, Beefcake McStevens, batting fifth is rookie first baseman Peak Vizink, he'll be making his debut this episode, batting sixth, left fielder Rory Crowds, batting seventh, catcher Hera O'Wugliams, batting eighth, shortstop Charlie Lopez, and batting ninth is the pitcher AVA. Let's jump into it and get it on here as we head out to Wacker's Wheel. Crocs not having a good start to the year through the first quarter of the season. They're only 1-7. Uh, they put all their money into defense, starting pitching, and contact. Uh, power and speed are average at best. Uh, same with the bullpen as well. So they, they have weaknesses on the team. It looks like those weaknesses are outweighing their actual strengths because they have not put together any momentum here to start the season. It's going to be interesting to see how they respond in this game against us. But this is our look at the first uh, new stadium here for the Crocodons that they got in this game, Wacker's Wheel, backed by their <clears throat> legitimate business partners. Kitty Kaufman leading off, second baseman locked in, bad ball hitter active, hitting 556, seven RBIs on the air, facing Javita Pulo, the ace of the Crocodons pitching staff. Oh, and one with the 736 ERA and a 164 whip. She's given up 10 runs, 9 earned in her 2 starts, only going 11 total innings, so averaging under 6 innings to start. 12 hits surrendered, 6 walks, 3 homers, 2 hit batsmen, 10 strikeouts, and a batting average against a 261. Not great numbers from the ace here. It looks like she's having a rough to go of it. Probably being left in too long by the AI. First pitch changeup misses outside on the first one. Ball one. Heater down and then in the 100 on the gun. 1-1. One, one. Heater middle and whiffed on it. 1-2. Heater down in the way, hitting the hold a second. Diving is phenomenal to make the play. He'll take the first and the phenom makes a nice start. One down. Here's right fielder Muffin Studwick hitting 378 with two RBIs. Fastball hitter active. Change it down in the way is a strike. 0-1. Oh, Heater weighs late swing. 0-2. Oh, Heater up the way, line to first, but right at Leanne Drive, two down. Base is empty for center fielder Willie Bacon. Outside pitch active, hitting 310, four RBIs here on the season. Drove in the uh, two-run double there to go ahead here in the last game as that Heater's in there for a strike at the letters, 0-1. Change it down and then pulled foul, 0-2. Change it down and the way, pulled foul again, it's 0-2. Heater up and in, chased it, strike three. First punch out for Pulo today, and that ends the inning. Bottom one, we're scoreless. Hernandez drive and run to third, coming up against AVA, Ace Von Asen. Juanita Hernandez leading off, left fielder hitting a buck 25 here to start the year. Three RBIs. Not a great start offensively for Hernandez, but she's no more for her defense than her bats. That's not surprising. 
AVA 2 and 0 with a 117 ERA and a 104 WHIP. Two earned runs given up in two starts, 15 in the third innings, averaging just over seven and a half innings to start. 15 hits surrendered, one walk, one homer, 13 strikeouts, batting average against of 254. So AVA is having a really good start to the season through his two starts. He's actually been our best performing starter, which is to be expected, of course, being the ace. First pitch heater up and away is fouled back there by Hernandez, 0-1. Curveball hangs, that's popped up behind the plate. Hera out of the crouch, puts it away for the first out. Next up to first base being Leanne Drive. Mind Gamer active, hitting 250 with a homer and four RBIs here to start the season. Two seamer away, outside ball one. Slider down and in, low and inside, 2-0. -oh. Pushing down in the way, line to short, right at Lopez for the second out. Run to third up next, third baseman locked in, hitting 355, four homers, eight RBIs. Having a good start to the year, curveball down in the way, chop foul, 0-1. Oh, Might be one of the few batters in the lineup having a good start, who knows. Two-seamer up and in, foul back, it's 0-2. Oh, We're seeing her up and away. Blew it by your strike three. AVA touches 100 on the gun as he gets the punch out to end the inning. So both aces match each other's performance, ending their inning with a strikeout to the second. McStevens, physique, and crowds coming up. Beef Cake McStevens leading off, third baseman locked in. High pitch active, hitting 528, two homers, eight RBIs. Change up and in, ripped down the left field line by Beefcake, but he's just early on it. It's foul, 0-1. Two-seam ripping in, line in the gap right center. That's down for a base hit and rolling all the way to the fence. Fruitwell tracks it down and gets it in, but that is going to be a leadoff double here for Beefcake. Putting himself in scoring position for rookie first baseman Pete Physique making his debut. First career at bat for the power hitter. Let's see what he can do. 24-year-old looking down, one of the best pitchers in the league to start. Can that have given you a more tougher matchup peak? <laughs> Chase the two-seamer inside, 0-1. Slide it down on the way, foul back, 0-2. Two-seamer lined inside the third. Ronda makes the catch, one down. Roy crowds up next, left fielder with inside pitch active, hitting 600 with a homer, seven RBIs. Change ups outside, that misses, ball one. Change up again outside, 2-0 count to crowds. Will he get one? Heater at the knees, blasted by Roy, deep to center field, hit pretty well, but Fruitwell back, runs it down, two outs. Definitely thought that was over his head, I would have tagged otherwise. Two down, runner at second still for catcher Hera Oluglium's, drove in two runs last game with two singles, hitting 250 with five RBIs on the air, off-speed hitter active. Two-seamer in there at the letters, 0-1. Peter down, broken back rounder under the glove of Pulo, but she'll recover. Gets the out at first to end the inning. So leadoff double is stranded. Bottom two, Leonair, Pickle, and Vortex up against AVA. Tara Leonair leading off, catcher hitting 292, two homers, three RBIs. AVA is already locked in. Slider down, that misses low, ball one. We're seeing the middle end, hitting the hole to third. Beefcake dives, nice play. Throw across the first, in time, one down. Norton Pickle up next, shortstop hitting 333 with a homer, four RBIs. You see him up it in, jammed on the ground to first. Physique there, he'll take it himself, two down. Base is empty here for Benny Vortex, right fielder hitting 333, two RBIs on the air. Curveball down, that misses low, ball one. Change up middle of the zone. That's fouled off early on the swing. 1-1. One, one. Pushing down and in. Ground to the third. Beefcake is there. Fires across the first. That's in time. That's a 1-2-3 inning. To the third. We're still scoreless. Lopez, AVA, and Kaufman coming up. 8-9-1 here for the Platypi. Shortstop Charlie Lopez leading off. Ace Exterminator active. Hitting 548 with 11 RBIs on the air. 
Change it down and away. Low and outside. Ball one. Peter misses low. 2 0 count to Charlie. Change it down and in. Ripped hard and foul. Out of play. 2 1. Slider away. Hit off the end of the bat to right field. Sinking quickly. Vortex, though, on the run gets there for the first out. AVA up next. He's locked in. Hitting 250. One RBI on the air. Change up and away. Strike call. 0 1. Slider down and in as low. 1 1. Hulo's locked in now. Peter up and in, chased high, one and two. Chased it high again, strike three. Second punch out for Pulo. Two down for Kaufman, 0 for one today. She's locked in. Peter down and in, that's a strike, 0 one. Peter low, one on one. Good eye, good eye, come on, kitty. Change away, chop foul, early on the swing, one, two. And chased it outside, strike three. Damn, third punch out for Pulo, and she's feeling it. Bottom three. Ace is dueling here early. Phenomeno, Fruitwell, and Pulo. Bottom of the lineup up for the Crocs. Ugh. That is unfortunate. Ooh, goody, a bot. I love bots. One second, folks. Ah, uh, yay, I love bots. Glad that was my only viewer. Anyway, let's move on. All right, bottom of the third, leading off is rookie Phena Phenom, Norm Phenomeno. He's playing second base today, the two-way player. He's also a reliever. Heater up and away is blown by him, 0-1, as he's currently tense. Only hitting 333 with one RBI in the season. Very slow start. Football down and in, line to right center. That's going to be down for possibly extra bases. Norm doesn't run particularly well. He will hold with just a single. Center fielder Gordon Fruitwell up next. He's hitting 290, six RBIs on the season. You see him ripping away. Bunt is shown, popped up. AVA makes the play. He has to take the out at first. One down. Next up going to be the pitcher, Pulo, who's locked in. Hitless on the air, but she does have an RBI already this season. Interesting note, Pulo is one of the original starting S-tier players, or S-tier pitchers. She's the only one that doesn't have a trait, I believe. So she's just raw talent. Curveball down in the way. Strike called as the bunt's pulled back. 0-1. Where's he ripping in? Bunt has popped up to the catcher. Williams makes the catch. Two down. Runner will hold at second, and that'll bring up Hernandez, who's 0-1 today. Change of hangs, chopped on the first pitch to Big Stevens, throw across the first, in time to end the inning. So AVA gives up a leadoff single, but he pitches around it. To the fourth, we're scoreless Studwick, Bacon, and McStevens coming up. Studwick leading off, right fielder 0 for 1. He lined out the first his first time up. Change up in there at the knees, 0 1. Peter Low, 1 and 1. Peter down in the way, strike called, one and two. Change up and in, hit at the middle, base hit past the shortstop into left of center. Lead off single there for Studwick, that's our second hit of the game. Let's see if we can build on it. Here's Willie Bacon, 0 for 1 today, outside pitch active. Now wild thrower is the trait active there for the catcher, I know that from experience, so we may be able to run on her. 
Peter up and in. That's a strike. Nice pitch. Show one. Popped him up. Jammed him with that two seamer up and in. Easy play for the Phenom. One down. McStevens up next. He doubled his first plate appearance. One for one. Checked outside on the heater. Good eye. Ball one. Slider up. Chopped through the middle. Base hit into right center. Nice job, Beefcake. First and second now. One down. Good speed on the base pass now. Here's Peak Physique. Oh for one day for Peak. Let's see if he can get a hit here. Peter up and away. Strike call. Oh one. Peter down and then chopped in the middle. Base hit for Physique. That's his first career hit. Coming around third stubbock. He's going to try and score. Throw in is dropped by Leonair. He was dead to rights at the plate. Now it's an RBI double as Physique, Physique moves up to second. First career RBI and first career hit. Let's get that ball for you, Rook. There you go. We're up 1-0. Crowd's up next. Pulo no longer locked in. 1-0, two in scoring position. Still one out. Slide up and away. Line to right field. That's down for a base hit on the first pitch. McStevens will score. It's 2-0. Runners at the corners now for a Wuglium. So for one today. Grounded back to the pitcher. First plate appearance. Change up, up and in, taking high. Good eye. Ball one. Heater up and in, taking high. 2 0 count to a Wugliams. Heater down and in, line to short. Right at Pickle, though, for the second out. Charlie Lopez coming up next. He's 0 for 1 today. Ace Exterminator still active. He dropped a 1 into the basket in right field his first time up. Tried to get a hit off it, but Vortex was playing in. Heater down and in is low. Ball one. Down and away with that heater. 2-0 to quickly the count. Change it down and then rip foul by Charlie. Out of play. 2-1. Slider away. Line to first, but right at drive holding the runner. That ends the inning. Two stranded, but we do cash in two. But if I had the lead, 2 nothing. Bottom four. Drive third and Leonair coming up. Up. Oh, they've actioned on my report. What do they say? Violation did occur. Nice. Awesome. All right, he bought it. Yay. Leanne drive up next. First baseman is 0 for 1 today. Heater up and away. Fouled off on the first 101. Slider inside. Off the plate. 1 1. He's in the down the way. Fouled off. 1 and 2. Okay, collector active. Curve change up, up and in. Ripped in the hole to short. Lopez on the dive. Just out of his reach. It's a base hit. Lead off single there for drive as she'll start the inning with a hit. Here's Ronda third. She struck out her first time up. 0 for 1 today. Curve ball down on the way. Chopper to second. Slow roller. Coffin there. Flips the second one. Lopez to first. Double play. Love to see that. Two down. Base is empty for Lee and Air. 0 for 1. Boys in the down and in. Foul back. Go one. Change up away. Fouled off. 0-2. Okay, collector active. Slider up and away. Chased it outside. Strike three. Second punch out for AVA, and that ends the inning. To the fifth. We're still up 2-0. AVA leads off. Then Kaufman and Studwick. Here's AVA. He struck out last time up. 0-1. for one. He's locked in. You see him wrap it in. Strike called on the first one. 0-1. Two seam up and in, jam shot in the shallow center. That's a tough play. And, ooh, nice diving play by Norton Pickle to take that away as a base hit. Kaufman up next, though, for two. Struck out last time up. She's no longer locked in, unfortunately. Right down the middle, missed that heater. 0 1, late on the swing. Surprised the hell out of me. And then put a change up in there at the knees. What a pitch. 0 2. Heater down and then grounded to third. One hopper. Runda makes the play. Two down. Base is empty for Studwick. Singled last time up. He's one for two. He's also lined out today. Peter up and away in the first one. Dumped to right field. That's down for a base hit. Nice job, Muffin. Second hit of the day for him. He's two for three. The inning continues for Willie Bacon, who popped out last time up. He's 0 for two. He's also struck out. Runner goes on the first pitch. Heater changeable away. Strike called. Throw down by Leonair is in time, and that gets Studwick. 
Bottom five, we're up 2-0. Halfway home today, Pickle and Vortex and Phenomeno do up as we, as advertised, have a good old-fashioned pitcher's duel. <coughs> Norton Pickle up, 0-for-1 today. Two-seamer up and in, check strike, go one Slider down in the way, grounded the second, Coffin backhands, on to first, one down. Next up, Vortex, he's 0-for-1. Four-seamer up and away, line to softly to short, Lopez makes the catch, two down. Base is empty from Phenomena, one for one with a single. Curveball down in the way, fouled off by the Phenom, 0-1. Pushing down and in. Foul back. It's 0-2. Okay, collector activates. Slide up and away. Outside and high. 1-2. and Two, two seam up and in. Off the plate. Good eye. 2-2. Two, two. Change down and in. Chopped up the middle to second. Kaufman backhands. On to first. 1-2-3 inning for AVA. Ace is cruising to the sixth. It's 2-0. Bacon, McStevens, and Physique do up. Willie Bacon leading off 0 for 2 today. At bat resets for him after Muffin was thrown out trying to steal. Slider low, ball one. Muffin now uh, one for two, one for three on stolen base attempts this year, unfortunately. Slider at the knees, skied by Willie to dead center, hit pretty well, but he got under it. Pretty well there, one down. Beefcake up next, two for two. He's doubled and singled. Also scored a run. Checked high on the heater. Good eye. Ball one. Heater at the letters. Ripped over the head of Pulo into center field. Almost took her head with it. <laughs> Third hit today for Beefcake. He's three for three. Here's Physique. One for two with an RBI double today. Runner goes on the first pitch. Change up up and in. Strike call. Throw down by Leonair. No chance. Beefcake steals second. I mean, there's always a chance, but it was a poor chance. Beefcake's first steal, actually, of the year. He's one for one. Oh, one count to Physique as that change up hit the top of the zone. Fastball at the knees, blasted by Physique deep to right center field, but he just got under it. It jammed him. Fruitwell back, puts it away for the second out. Beefcake tags, he'll move up to third. And that puts him 90 feet away here for Rory Crowds, who did single one home last time up. He's one for two. Let's go, Rory. He's also flown out, inside pitch active still. Chase that changeup out of the zone. Bad swing, no one. Slider away, dumped over second. That's down for a base hit. Third run of the day for the Platypies. It's 3 0. Platypies. <laughs> I believe it's called Platypuses. <laughs> There's a Wugliam Zofa, too. Or is it? I think Platypi actually is the plural version of Platypus. Huh. Interesting. Crowds with his second hit, second RBI. Here's a Wugliams, who's still hitless today. Peter inside, hits the corner. Nice pitch, show one. Slider chased inside, grounder to first. Easy play for drive to end the inning. Bottom six, it's 3-0. Fruitwell, Pulo, and Hernandez do up right now. Pulo does have a quality start, only giving up three runs here through six. We'll see if they leave her in. Here's Fruitwell. <coughs> Gordon is hitting 290 on the year. Six RBIs on the season. He uh, sack bunted his first time up, so he has not had an official at bat today. And his first pitch he sees outside of a bunt attempt is line back up the middle. Gordon one for one. So this does allow them to leave Pulo in and bunt if they so choose. They do not choose that. Instead, they go to backup catcher Evan Chukov, who has first pitch Slayer active, hitting 333 with one homer. Two RBIs here for the Russian import. Good speed over at first and Fruitwell as well. Change it down and then off the plate on the first pitch. That takes care of his trade. Ball one. Slider away. Line to third, right at Beefcake for the first out. Next up, Hernandez, 0 for 2 today. Four-seamer inside, blew it by her, 0-1. Curveball down in the way, that's a strike right there, 0-2. Slider put in, fouled off, out of play, 0-2. Still remains the count. Two-seamer down and in. Chased it, strike three. Third punch out for ABA. Two down. Hey, Shaneba, welcome in. <laughs> hopefully your day, hopefully your morning's been well. <laughs> Chukov, yes, desperate times indeed. 
that guy does. <laughs> yeah, he does suck, especially if you get past this first pitch slayer trait. After that, he's basically useless. <laughs> he's like a younger version of Tabuli. Here's Drive. I think Leanne's 0 for 2 today, if I remember correctly. Her ball down and away from ABA, lined at the middle. Well, she's not hitless anymore. First and second, two down. Crocs are threatening for the first time today. This is the first time they've had multiple base runners on. Here's a run to third, 0 for 2 today. She has struck out once. Slider down and in on the first pitch. Chopper, high hopper to the mound. AVA to first, that ends the inning. Nice job, Ace. Coming in out of the bullpen, it's what do you know as he'll take over on the mound. So Pulo does go six today, giving up three earned runs. It's a quality start, but once again, no run support from her offense. She is in line for the loss. Gave up eight hits, no walks, struck out three, and three earned runs given up. She did keep the ball in the ballpark, though. I do like the Crocs, but that guy can accumulate some more splinters in his posture. Oh, God, yep. <laughs> yep, he can ride the bench more. <laughs> Lopez leading off 0 for 2 today as Woody Ano enters the game. Woody on the air, 0-2, 1485 ERA and a 285 whip. Oh my god, this guy's got blasted this year. 11 earned runs, 7 appearances, 6 and 2 thirds, 12 hits, 7 walks, 2 homers, a hit batter, 3 strikeouts, batting average against 375. My god, Woody, what happened? I get it, you have no accuracy, but still. Way outside on that heater. Just a bit outside. Woody has crossed up here. Oh, that's that's just outside. a bit outside again. 2-0. Make that a bit high this time. 3-0. Right. Heater in there. 3-1. Slider at the knees. Charlie rips it to the gap right center field. That is going to get down for a base hit, and that is a leadoff single. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> now back, the pitcher. There's Ace Bond Ace in 0 for 2 today. This is a bunting situation now for Ace as he'll square. Drops it down, and that's a nice bunt. Leon Air to first. We'll take the sacrifice. One down. Lopez in scoring position for Kaufman. He's 0 for 3. Slider misses in the dirt. Ball one. Slider inside. There you go. That's a strike. 1 1. Ah, what am I doing? Chased it. One, two. And chased it again. Strike three. Kaufman's second time striking out today. First for Woody. Here's Studwick. Two for three day. Two singles. Come on, Muffin. Slider low in the dirt. Good eye. Ball one. Slider's inside. That misses. 2-0 count to Studwick. Ah, missed it down the middle away. 2-1. Two, Two-seamer hits the corner away. 2-2. Two, two. Heater away. Pulled on the ground to short. Easy play for Pickle, and that's going to end the inning. All right, nothing doing. Bottom seven. It's 3-0. Leonair, Pickle, and Vortex coming up. AVA's only on 45 pitches here in the seventh. Oh, my God. Here's catcher Tara Leonair is 10, so for two. Change of up and away in the first one. Strike call, 0 1. He's going down the way. Check swing strike. It's 0 2. Heater up and in. Blue and buyer, strike three. Got her to chase. Fourth punch out for Ace. Norton up next. He's 0 for 2. We're about down in the way. That's lined at the middle. Oh, that's a base hit. Nice swing. Norton's first hit of the day. He's one for three. That'll bring up Vortex. He's 0 for two. Slider down and in. Fouled off on the first one. 0 1. He seemed to down. Taken low. Good eye. 1 on 1. Curveball down in the way. Check swing strike called. 1 and 2. Nice pitch. Heater middle in. Checked inside, good hold, 2-2. Two, two. You see him ripping away, checked high, 3-2. Two. Slider down and in, checked low, ball four, good eye, Vinny. First walk today for Ace. Two on, one down for the Phenom, Norm Phenomeno. One for two today with the single, still tense. Norm's also grounded out today. 
Her ball away on the first pitch. Check strike called. 0-1. Zoomer away, chopped in the hole to short, and Charlie was unfortunately holding the runners. That's going to be a base hit. Runner's going to try and score. Here's the throw from Crowds. Oh, would have had him if a Williams made the catch. 3-1 as they're on the board. Here's Fruitwell, one for one with a single. Ace no longer locked in, I think. Bubba Blastman pinch hitting off the bench here for Fruitwell. He has clutch active here. Only batting one for eight on the year with one RBI. Ace still locked in. Okay. Not all of this is his fault. Zemer up and in. Line to short on the first pitch right at Charlie. Two down. And that's going to bring up the pitcher slot. Here's what do you know. Pinch hitting for him is Trisha Lee, the young third baseman. Hitless on the air, looking to come through a clutch. Peter up and away. Runner goes for third. Throw down by a Wugliam's not in time. Cannon arm did not activate, so that is an easy steal there. Who's that, Runda? No, it's Vortex. Okay. Then he gets the steal there. That's his fifth of the year. He's five for five. A one count to Trisha Lee. Curveball down in the way. Fouled off over the screen. It's 0-2. Down and in. Chased it. Strike three. Fifth punch out for ABA. That ends the inning. Gets out of the jam. Nice pitching. Here comes Lou to Baziz. Oh, boy. <laughs> To the eighth, it's three to one. Bacon, McStevens, and Physique do up. You talk about desperate times. Here's Willie Bacon, 0 for 3 today. And subbing in is going to be center fielder Clifford Kane as he's going to replace Bubba Blastman in center. So I don't think there's anybody left on their bench. Actually, there is Candela who's injured and Tarzan Woodburn. Oh boy. Desperate times, boys. Desperate times. <laughs> Lou DeBaziz on the mound now. No record, a 4.05 ERA and a no 90 whip. He actually, that's the best whip in the entire bullpen. Oh, man. Three earned runs given up, four appearances, six and two-thirds innings, six hits, eight strikeouts, a wild pitch, and a homer. Batting average against 231. He's thrown the most innings out of the bullpen so far. Yeesh. <laughs> All right, Willie, get us started. Falls behind us the trade here for Lou. And he does fall behind us. That heater's inside. Ball one. Heater inside a strike, one and one. Heater in there at the knees, one two. Curveball away, line to short, but right at Norton for the first out. Here's Beefcake, three for three days, doubled and singled twice. High pitch still active, but still facing a righty. Heater up, chased it out of the zone, 0 1. Curveball away, pulled up the third base line, fair ball as it hops over the bag, but Runda there, two down. Here's Physique, one for three with an RBI double for the rookie. Curveball down and then off the plate, ball one. Checked away on the heater, good eye, 2 0. Chased it away, got a little antsy, 2 1. Curveball away, outside, 3 1. Chased it below the knees, chopper to third, run to charges, that's going to be the third out of the inning. Lou with a 1-2-3 inning. Bottom eight, it's 3-1. Hernandez driving third, due up. Ace coming back out. Here's Hernandez, 0 for 3 today. Forcing him down and in. Line at the middle, that's a base hit on the first pitch. Hernandez's first hit of the day. She's on here to start the eighth. Here's Leanne Drive, two for three, two singles today. Runner goes, throw down by Hera, not in time. Another steal for Hernandez. Hernandez is first of the year. She's one for one. A 1-0 one -oh count. Curveball down in the way, chased it low, one and one. Change it down and then to drive, ripped foul, one and two. Okay, collector activates. He drifted in, high, 2-0, -oh, or 2-2. Two -two. That punch out you have today, Ace, I forgot. It does have five. Okay, I'm making sure. Curveball down on the way. Grounded up the middle. Kaufman there, backhands. No play at third. He'll take the out at first on the fielder's choice. One down. Here's run to third. 0 for three. Still looking for her first hit. You see him roughing away on the first pitch. Out of the zone high. 1-0. One, uh, one, oh. Heater up and in, way high, 2-0, easy ace, easy. 
Put ball down in the way. Low and outside. 3 0. Change it down and in. That's a strike. 3 1. Nice pitch. He's even down and in. Low ball four. Second walk for Ace, and the tying runs on base. Hey, that rhymed. <laughs> two on, two, one down for Leonair, who's 10, so for three today. She's going to have to bat. They don't have another catcher on the roster, I believe, unless it's Leanne Drive. I think she can catch. Yeah, I don't want her catching any time at all. And you're not batting with Woodburn here. This is kind of your best bet. I'm going to go ahead and make a substitution here since Harrow's 10, and she's not really doing anything back there. We're going to go ahead and put Tugboat behind the plate. He's got the better arm. Now in the game. Thomas. Plus, she was due up to bat next inning anyway. I was going to pinch it regardless, so this kind of just forced my hand early. Slider up and away on the first pitch. Hit well by Leonair to center field, but she missed it. Willie back a few steps there. He'll put it away for the first. Second out of the inning as the runner will tag and score easily from third. Hernandez is in. It's sack fly makes it 3-2. to two. Ace no longer locked in. Here's Norton Pickle. One for three with a single today. Change it down in the way on the first pitch. That's a strike. Oh, one nice pitch. Pick off to first. Nothing doing. Letting Runda know I got my eye on her. Forcing him down and in. There she goes. Throw down by Thomas. He's not going to get her either, but he had the better shot of doing so. Tying run now in scoring position. Runda's second steal of the year. She's two for three. One one count here to Norton. Well down and then that's a strike and then they're at the knees one and two you see me up and away chased it out of the zone fouled off still two and two slider in way high two two lost the handle on that slider change it down in the way out in front of it strike three got him ace punches him out six punch out of the day and he gets out of the jam with the lead intact though they do get their second run of the game on a sack fly three two to the ninth Crowds, Thomas and Lopez coming up. Nice pitch and ace. You're done for the day, kid. Here's Rory Crowds, two for three, two singles, two RBIs, inside pitch active. Fork ball away on the first pitch, outside from Lou, ball one. Check to curveball in the dirt off the plate on the bounce, 2-0. Heater middle in, cracked by Rory, dead center field, it pretty well, and that ball has been sent to the land down under, crikey, it's a home run, Rory Crowds hits his second of the year, and we extend the lead, it's 4-2, to two. there you go, Rory, been like three episodes since a home run, so that's nice, I'm glad I remembered the call, <laughs> Tugboat Tom is coming up for his first at bat of the day, hitting 444 with three RBIs as Lou is promptly removed. Coming in is Tia Mayfair, one of the, actually the best performing reliever here in the bullpen for the Crocs this season to this point. Uh, no record, a 169 ERA and a 150 whip. One earned run given up, five appearances, five and a third innings. Five hits, three walks, seven strikeouts, and a batting average against of 238 here for Tia. Yes, we can always use extra insurance. <laughs> Tom is ready, here we go. Change of in there for a strike, 0-1. Nice pitch from Tia. Change it down, pulled in the hole to short, diving Norton to take away a base hit. What a play, Norton. Charlie Lopez up next, one for three with a single today. Heater in there at the letters, 0-1, nice pitch. Heater down the middle, Lopez gets to it, cracks it to right center, hit well, but that's going to hang up out there. Kane puts it away, two down. Ace coming up next, he's done, 0 for 2 today, he has sack bunted today. Good pitching today, Ace, good pitching, could not have asked for more out of you today. Going to go ahead and give the at-bat here to Sky Rodriguez, the power hitter. Hitting 333, one RBI. Batting one for three off the bench. She pinch hit last episode and drove in an RBI double. Curveball up and away. Strike called, 0-1. Chased it away outside. My bad, 0-2. Kane Neglector, though, activates for the first time. Chased it anyway. Strike three. God damn it. <laughs> pinch hitter retired, and that's going to end the inning. All right, coming in out of the bullpen here. <laughs> so we used Remington last game, so he's a no-go right now. Same with Indier. We have Lauderbury. Sh shit. <laughs> Jacobs. Shit. <laughs> well, this is his kind of job, so it's going to be the closer, Walt Huckster. Bottom nine, it's 4-2. to two. 
Vortex Phenomeno and Kane do up. Here's Vinny Vortex. He's leading off 0 for 2 today with a walk. Walt Huckster. He has not appeared since opening, not opening day, the second game of the year. No record, a 0 ERA and an 0.75 up. Oh, he's made two appearances, has he? <clears throat> oh, the other one must have been that Nozzle's second loss then. Yep, Huckster, no record, a 0, 0.75, 0 ERA and an 0.75 whip. Two appearances, inning and a third, one walk. That's it. Batting average against a 0. First pitch out of the bullpen, heater away. Skied by Vortex off the end of the bat to left. Crowds back two steps. Calls for it and puts it away. One down. Nice start. Next up, Phenomeno, two for three today. Two singles. He's driven in a run as well for the Phenom. Still tense, though, unfortunately. Curveball down in the way, fouled off, out of play, 0-1. Change it down, that's low, 1-1. One one. Four seamer up and in, blew it by him, 1-2. K Neglector unfortunately now activates. Curveball down and in, checked off the plate inside, 1-2. and two. Change it down in the way, grounder to first. Peak physique over on the backhand, takes it himself, two down. Last chance for the Crocs today is Clifford Kane, the center fielder. Tense with easy target, hitless on the air. First to bat of the game, he was a defensive switch last inning in center. Heater away, check swing strike, 0-1. Trouble down and in, chased it, 0-2. Okay, Neglector activates. Change it down in the way, low and outside, 1-2. Heater up and in. Jammed him, grounder to third. McStevens charges, fires the first. One, two, three, ninth inning for Huckster. He gets his first save of the year. Vladipi win 4 2. The final score today as we beat the Crocs. We move to 7 and 2. Crocodons fall to 1 and 8. Good win. Solid pitching today from Ace. He did his job once again, living up to his name. He outdueled out Pulo, and the offense supported him in return. RBIs today for us. Uh, we had uh, one on a double there by Peak Physique. That was his only hit. First in of his career, though, in both counts. And then Rory Crowds had uh, two RBI singles, and then he had a solo home run late to put it out of reach. Nice job, Rory. On the other side, for the Crocs, RBIs today. Leonair had a sack fly, and Norm Phenomeno an RBI single. Pitching lines, AVA, eight innings, seven hits, two earned runs, two walks, six strikeouts. Another quality start for Ace. He's 3-0 and to start the year. Huckster gets his first save of the year going an inning clean. Nothing uh, nothing came off of him. On the other side for the Crocs, Pulo, six quality innings, eight hits, three on runs, three strikeouts. But once again, no run support for the ace. She falls to 0-2. What do you know? One inning, one hit given up, one strikeout. Lou to Baziz, an inning plus, one hit, one earned run given up on a homer. And Mayfair, an inning cleanly with a strikeout. Player of the game, Rory Crowds, for his three RBI day and the home run, followed by AVA for his pitching, and then Beefcake with his three hit day at the three slot. Or four slot. Four slot. Yeah, he's the four hitter. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Good, uh, good job all around, guys. Love to see it. Good quality team victory. That's what we love to see. All right, what do we got? Bro Boom, what's a new face? Oh, crowds, easy. Don't even have to question that. All right, any roster moves to report? Ooh, there's a couple developments, but no roster moves. So everybody else, stand in the hat. They don't want to make any moves. Peak physique, already developing, plus four speed, nice. Cartman loses seven fielding, that's not surprising. Uh, Statsman in the free agent pool once again develops. He gets extra power now. Okay. All right. Well, interesting. Okay, so we have 10 games to get through here. Let's look at player development options. What do we got? <laughs> no, I'm not giving you wild thrower. No, you already have good power. Ooh, power. No, let's lose power lefties. No, thank you. Willie Bacon, big hack. You didn't play well today, Willie, so I don't know if you deserve this or not, really. Kaufman, we're not giving you bad jumps. You're pretty quick. Pinch perfect for Charlie. He already is a pretty good fielder. That doesn't sound like a great deal. 
he will start regressing soon. He is 38, and eventually he will be relegated to a bench role. That's true. Maybe they're... they're are they foreshadowing his downfall? <laughs> Either way, we're not buying anything right now. We still have this one for Willie and then this one for Charlie. So, hmm, interesting. Well, let's look at the free agent pool and see what we got. Do Is there anybody we want to sign right now? Let's see. Well, Dieter Adorinos just continues to drop under his projected price point. Swolson and Butterfinger are nowhere near theirs, so no rush there on backup first base. Slaperio's almost at his price point. Uh, what else? We got Dilly Dollars now under hers. Frazzler, he's getting there. Same with Torque. Torque is actually almost at his. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets bought real soon. The only problem is I don't need a left fielder right now. I have Studwick. I have Crowds. Crowds is playing really well. Colliner. I could see going after Colliner here, bringing in him for Willie Bacon because Bacon's not playing well at all, <laughs> period. <laughs> I could see that. How much is Willie making, though? Oh, he's already cheaper than Willie, you say. How do they match up? More, way more power, yeah, obviously. Less, way less contact, though. Fair enough. Extra speed, less fielding, more arm. Okay, okay. I am seriously debating bringing in Colliner here. Because, I mean, Willie here to start the year, he hasn't done a whole lot. What has what he had? He's hitting, what, 273? He's driven in four runs. He hasn't hit well. Oh, he only has three extra base hits, too. Like, what are you doing? I'm really, I'm really tempted to get rid of Willie here. What we really need also is bullpen pitching too. So what else is available? All right, so uh, bringing in Colliner is an option. That would bring back some of the money we've lost. Caldi, eh, not feeling it. Not right now, anyway. If anything, I would go after Statsman here. He's actually probably going to be the first guy signed. Like, this dude is ready. <laughs> Especially with him getting better and better in the free agent pool. It's only a matter of time before someone buys him. Like, eesh. But do I want to pay $12 million? Probably not. <laughs> but he would play right field all the time, and then that would move well Wugliams to catcher primarily. Pitching rotation, Frago's basically ready to be picked up. Same with Cecil Sawyer. Both of them are really good options here. High eye, he's not quite ready. Jacoby, I don't want to sign him now that he has K neglectors, so take him off. Would I sign Charleston? Maybe? Uh, he's better than Jacoby now, so that's about all I got there. Raconda's almost there, not quite ready. Goatman almost ready. Although we'll probably we could probably get him for the cheap cheap. He's still probably cheaper than most of the guys in the bullpen. Well, alright. He's cheaper than the two ones that matter in the bullpen. The other three, these guys get paid ridiculously on the cheap, so. Yikes. Got the Hurlington boys, neither of them are ready. Langdon Strider. Ugh. Heimlich, he's not quite there yet. Lynetta Betta is there. I don't want her. I don't want Fluster either, really. So, yeah, we are still not making any roster moves in the bullpen yet. There, there's no one, like, cheap enough that I'm worried about buying. So that brings me back to center field and the starting pitching. We obviously do need to sign somebody to put Rufus into the bullpen so that way we can uh, put an actual fourth starter in the pitching rotation. So how are we going to do that? Who are we going to bring in? Do we bring in Sawyer? Do we bring in Frago? Probably not going to be high eye even with Kane Neglector. Charleston's probably not. He's a backup option. I said, well, we don't need to make a move right now, but at the same time, I'm worried that if I don't make the move right now, that one of them or both of them are going to be gone, honestly. Between the two of them, I obviously like Sawyer the best. He's got the best stuff. Rally Stopper's the better trait. Although Frago is nice, um... He's just, he's very raw. Sawyer's more developed at this point, which is why he's older than Frago, which is nice. I like that fact right there. They have, Frago is like the raw talent, which is why his ratings doesn't match up as well as Sawyer's does. 
It's like they're goading you to pick him just to make him into a better player. I like that. That's a nice job by the developers there. A nice little catch. Hmm. Sawyer or Frogo? Let's go for Sawyer, I guess. I like both of them. That's that's the bad part. I like both of them. But we we hey, we might even end up signing both of them because I know Stuby's starting to regress already, which sucks. Cecil or Frogo? Frogo or Cecil? Cecil or Frogo? Fall. You know, and I'm going to take the risk on that. I'm going to wait one more on the pitching thing. But for the center field, I think I'm going to make the move on that now. I just think Willie's just not playing really well. And, hey, I'm calling her actually cheaper than him, plus he brings a better trait to the play. Where are you, Willie? So we're going to get rid of the only crafty player on our roster, which sucks. But at the same time, Willie's just not doing anything this year. He's just not performing. So... We're going to go ahead and get Hayam Colliner. We're also going to save a little bit of money with this move and put us up over $12 million. So that's actually kind of nice. We're actually going to go back up to where we were almost at last episode. So that's actually pretty nice. So sorry, Willie. I've got to make the move here. You're just not performing. Let's go, Hay. All right, so Hayam Colliner will make his debut next episode. He'll be starting in center field. Let's sim up to the next game. Speaking of that. Why those are gonna blow out the uh, Sandcats with ease there, seven to nothing. Grapplers also win as they beat the Bee Wolves. Buzzards win a pitcher's duel against the Moose there, two to one. Wild Pigs beat the Salt Teeth, nine seven. Blowfish taking on the Hot Corners here. Blowfish are gonna win four to three. Nice play at pitching there. Grass Eaters finally win again. They beat the Sirloins, two to one. Moonstars taking on the Freebooters here. Freebooters rally and win in the ninth, five to four. Bad Hot Brown is your winner. Heaters hold on to beat the Overdogs 5-4 to four as they needed that win. Crocs taking on the Buzzards here. Crocs finally bounce back to get their second win of the year. They beat the Buzzards 4-3. to three. And in the final game of the Sim, the Nemesis win a pitcher's duel against the Moose 2-1. to one. So right now we're a game ahead of the Plied Loads and Grapplers right now sitting at 7-2. and two. And here's who we're playing next episode. It is the Wide Loads who are in second place. So the top two teams in the division will battle here in a one-off game. On the mound for the wide loads will be their number two pitcher. It is Ch Chug Bourbony, left-hander, one and one with a 7.56 ERA and a 168 WHIP. And Metalhead and falls behind are his traits. And on the mound for us is going to be better in Stuby Tubrick, one and zero with a 4.50 ERA and a one WHIP, coming off a victory against the Heaters in his last start. Lineup we'll use for that game. Leading off at second will be Kaufman. Batting second in right field will be Muffin Studwick. Batting third, Rory Crowds in left. Beefcake in the cleanup slot still at third. He's locked in. Peak Bazik is still batting fifth at first base. Uh, I'm going to move this one up. Hey, I'm calling her. I'm going to bat sixth. Rookie center fielder. Batting seventh will be shortstop Charlie Lopez with ace exterminator. Batting eighth will be catcher Tugboat Thomas. And batting ninth will be the pitcher, Stuby Tubrick. That is going to do it for this episode, guys. Big wins today. Big win today for the Platypi as we do hold on to beat the Crocodons 4-2. And a nice pitcher's duel there. Ace Von Aysen gave us eight quality innings, and Rory Crowds had a home run. So that's all we can real. Those are the real highlights of the game. <laughs> but it was nice to outdo a Pulo for once and actually um, get a win off of her. She's a very difficult pitcher to match up with, and I'm proud that we actually managed to beat her. Uh, if you made it this deep, guys, thanks so much for sticking around. I appreciate the support as always. If you haven't already, hit the follow and or subscribe buttons down below here on Twitch to be notified next time I go live. And if you haven't already over on YouTube, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Link to Twitch will be down in the description below if you guys want to come over and watch the games live before they're posted. And also follow me over on this platform as well if you so choose. Quick shout out to Shanable for checking in during the stream and chatting with me throughout. Like, nice hearing from you, buddy, as always. Uh, but that's going to do it for me tonight, guys. Until next time, this is The Nasty One signing off. Have a wonderful day, evening, or afternoon, wherever you guys may be. Have a wonderful day, guys.